Hi, I'm Brian Hoofler. Hello, my name is Bryce Kish. And today's topic is... Censorship on TV. With all the degrading images and vulgar language in our society today, censorship was, is, and will continue to be a vital part of our television culture. While it definitely was an, an important part of television culture, I don't think it needs to be. I think TV would be better unadulterated and uncensored. While uncensored and unadulterated television can certainly make for a more humorous experience in a vulgar way, what about little Johnny slipping through the channels and comes across Snoop Dogg's latest song? Look, there are certain channels that I think little Johnny should be allowed to watch, like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, stuff specifically designed for kids. I think it's his dad's, probably Big Johnny, I think it's his responsibility to monitor what his kid is watching. While it is the parent's responsibility to monitor what their kids are watching, you and I both know, Bryce, that they are not always successful in that job. Which is why censorship is required for those times that the parents fail to monitor their kids 100% of the time. I agree that parents can't be there 100% of the time to monitor what their kids are watching. But don't you think that censorship's a little extreme? Maybe we could use something that could block shows based on their rating. Maybe we could call it a V-chip. Oh yes, Bryce, I agree. You know, that would be very effective. I would. And I, I would like to point out, though, that you totally just argued against yourself, because the V-chip is censorship. It censors entire shows, Bryce, not just parts of them. Which would you rather have? An entire show censored? Or one little park cat with a little vulgarity? I think I'd still rather have the V-chip. At least then, it's only censoring out shows for kids, and then when I'm in the room and I want to watch something, I can watch the whole show unbleeped out or anything. While programming a V-chip is a very effective way of keeping kids from seeing programs that are not appropriate for their eyes, you and I both know that technology has its faults. A crafty little kid could easily guess what your password is, or spy on you to figure it out or even sneak into the room and watch TV lying on the couch or something. First of all, I find your lack of faith in children quite disturbing. Second of all, there's really nothing you can do about those crafty kids. If they're going to see it one way or another, you might as well have some wall of defense up there so they may, might think in their heads, wait, maybe this wall is up here for a reason. Where censorship, as in V-chip censorship, fails, Bryce, uh, station-controlled censorship makes up for it. When a station censors out a curse word, it's censored out for good. You can't hear it. When the V-chip does it, blocks the whole program, and as soon as that program's unblocked, you can hear it all. This is true, but there's also another often overlooked solution. Maybe you could just tr maybe they could just try sitting down with their kids and talking to them about what they're seeing. It's not like TV is the only place they're going to get this kind of stuff. Have you heard schoolyard conversations?